This video demonstrates deploying OpenShift 4 to VMware vSphere 7 with the user provisioned infrastructure method. To begin installing, we will first verify that the correct version of OpenShift install is on the host. We also check that the install config.yaml exists and has the information relevant to the vSphere environment we are using. Next, generate the ignition files, which will be used by the virtual machines to configure and join the cluster using the create ignition configs parameters to OpenShift install. The bootstraps ignition file needs to be hosted on a web server, which is accessible by the virtual machine. The SCP command copies it to an available server in this environment. The reason for this is that with VMware deployments, the bootstrap ignition is too large to attach as a vApp property. To direct the virtual machine to the correct ignition file at boot, we must create an additional ignition file, shown here as a pinned-bootstrap.ign, which simply points the bootstrap to the HTTP server for its full file. Since ignition files are entered into the vApp property as base64 encoded strings, the next step is to encode each of the files to be used in the deployment step. Before moving on, copy the base64 string representing the bootstrap node's appended ignition file. The Red Hat Enterprise Linux CoreOS OVA was previously imported and converted to a template in our vCenter web client. We need to create a clone of this template for our bootstrap virtual machine. Walk through the deployment process as with any other virtual machine, however modify the hardware to adhere to the documentation. This requires 4 CPUs, 16GB of RAM, and a 120GB disk. These values should also be used for the control plane nodes, and worker nodes should be sized according to your workload. After adjusting the hardware, paste in the previously copied Base64 string for the bootstrap's ignition data. After completing the wizard and waiting for the virtual machine to be created, power it on to begin the bootstrap process. Repeat the process for each of the control plane and worker nodes. After creating and powering on the virtual machines, return to the command line and use the OpenShift install wait for bootstrap complete command to determine when the bootstrap process is finished. Once Bootstrap has completed, return to the vSphere console, where we see that all of our virtual machines have been created. Power off and optionally delete the Bootstrap virtual machine at this stage. From the CLI, use the command to wait for the install process to complete. This process will take a few minutes, so we will skip ahead. After a few minutes, OpenShift install will print the URL for the console and the password for user kube admin. Use this information to log into the cluster from your browser.
At the dashboard, we see that a few services are finishing updating and deploying. Moving to the node view, we see all of the virtual machines created in vCenter are connected and ready, indicating that the deployment was successful. Thank you for watching this demonstration of OpenShift 4 deployed to VMware vSphere 7.